Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the 10 most infamous assassinations in history. Now this list is going to be quite interesting indeed. I, I probably know a few of these from the top of my head. I would imagine Martin Luther King, um, John F. Kennedy, maybe John Lennon, I think. But there's, there's bound to be many other ones that maybe happened a bit before I was born or maybe well before I was born. So yeah, this is gonna be really, really interesting to watch. So let's do it. Welcome to the best of Watch Mojo. In this series, we're turning back the clock to show you some great early videos from the channel that you might've missed. These voices were silenced before their time. I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. Welcome to Watch Mojo. It's crazy how he said, I might not get there with you. Like almost like he knew what was going to happen to him. Com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 assassinations in history. For this list, we're taking a look at political and social leaders who had their lives cut short. These are the unexpected deaths that shocked the world and changed the course of history. To show and to demonstrate that the true criminals hide under the cloak of the accusers. Number 10, Philip II of Macedon. Mm. The man credited with inventing the political ideology of divide and conquer. Wow. Philip II was a successful ruler of Macedon. In the autumn of 336 BC, Philip was left unprotected while attending his daughter's wedding and was killed by one of his bodyguards, Hosanius of Orestes. Wow. Though the assassin's motives are unclear, some historians believe his wife and son Alexander III were involved. While others theorize Pausanias was a wronged lover of Philip's, the murder allowed for Philip's son, Alexander the Great, to ascend to the throne and oh. create one of the largest empires in history. Wow. Number nine. Malcolm X. And bring about the freedom of these people. Wow, so Malcolm X was, was 40 when he, when he was assassinated. Young man. By any means necessary. As a militant voice of the civil rights movement, Malcolm X had long been a target of violence and death threats. I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. After Jeez. Malcolm X's very wow. public break from the Nation of Islam religious movement, animosity between him and the organization grew. But you didn't endorse what Martin Luther King was doing yourself. Uh, I do not reject his goals of full integration and full equality rights for American citizens. Do you reject these If goals? you don't think that he's walking on the right road, I'm quite sure you don't agree that he'll get to the right place. Tensions boiled over during an address in Manhattan on February 21st, 1965, when three men shot and killed the oh, civil rights man. leader. The nation took responsibility and Talmadge Hare admitted his guilt, but the wow. other two maintained their innocence. And the civil rights movement lost one of its most active leaders. Do you consider yourself militant? <laughs> I consider myself Malcolm. Number eight, <laughs> Benazir Bhutto. And I don't want you all to humiliate me. Everybody has to die. Though no longer Prime Minister of Pakistan, Benazir Bhutto was still a prominent political figure in 2007 as the first female leader of a Muslim country. On December oh. 27th of that year, she was on the campaign trail for the upcoming parliamentary elections. Though she was equipped with a bulletproof vehicle, Bhutto was killed while standing through the sunroof to greet fans when shots rang out and explosives were detonated near the car. This oh is the last God. picture of Benazir Bhutto alive, taken just before her assailant got close enough to blow up her vehicle. Wow. Al-Qaeda commander Mustafa Abu al-Yazid took responsibility for Bhutto's death which sparked riots and quashed oh any chance of stability God. in the region. The announcement of her death sent her supporters into spasms of grief. <laughs> Number seven, That's Archduke so Franz Ferdinand of Austria. If not for the events that followed the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, his name might have been just a blip in history. The murder of Ferdinand and his wife on June 28, 1914, set in motion a chain of events that resulted in the beginning of World War I just what? one month later. 
the motive of assassin Gavrilo Princip and his fellow Bosnian Serb revolutionaries was to break away from Austria-Hungary and form their own republic. Oh. The result was a conflict involving all the world's great economic powers and one of the deadliest conflicts in world history. Number Man, yeah, can you imagine being a direct, like, component to the reason why World War I happened? You know, arguably one of the, if not the most deadly world conflicts. I think uh, they estimate it was like 90 million plus based on the population at that time. So, which was like half of what it is now. So almost like 200 million people, you know, dead. Crazy, crazy. Number six, John Lennon. Shot twice in the back, rushed to Roosevelt Hospital, dead on arrival. The cultural wow. impact of the Beatles is difficult to overstate. The group inspired obsessed fans, including the dangerously infatuated Mark David Chapman. Chapman, once a die-hard Beatles fan, had become a born-again Christian and considered Lennon's comment that the Beatles were more popular than Jesus blasphemous. Oh, I'm not saying no. they were better or greater or compare enough with Jesus Christ as a person or God as a thing or whatever it is. You know, I just said what I said and it was wrong or was taken wrong. Inspired by... Oh, man, this is the thing. You have to be so careful. Even if you say things tongue-in-cheek, you know, as a bit of a joke, there's people out there who will not see it that way. You know, you just have to be so, so careful. And obviously, you know, it looks like John, unfortunately, we, we know the rest. By the anti-phony sentiment in J.D. Salinger's novel The Catcher in the Rye and his perception that Lennon was the ultimate hypocrite, Chapman visited the Dakota apartment building where Lennon and Yoko Ono lived on December 8, 1980. And after getting his autograph earlier in the day, shot and killed him. I thought wow. by killing him, I would acquire his fame. Number five, what? Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Martin Luther Terrible. King served as Terrible. a star spokesman for the civil rights movement in America, pushing for the equality of African Americans through nonviolent means. I have a dream. That my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. But he was silenced before he had... That's got to be one of the most iconic speeches of all time, right? I remember seeing the movie, the one with uh, David uh, Oyelowo, who played uh, Martin Luther King. Fantastic, fantastic. ...the opportunity to see his efforts succeed. On April 4th, 1968, the civil rights leader and Nobel Peace Prize winner was shot and killed by James Earl Ray as he stood on the balcony of his hotel room. King's death widened the gap between whites and blacks and spurred the expansion of radical African-American movements like the Black Panthers. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. Number four, John F. Kennedy. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Tragedy has... It's just so sad that, you know, people can't just let people live. You know, let people shine. Let people, you know, make their mark. Why, why, why you know, to take matters in... To take someone's life just because you don't like, you know, what they stand for. It's just such a... A savage thing to do, you know? ...has befallen many members of the Kennedy family. For example, JFK's brother Bobby was assassinated by Sirhan Sirhan in 1968 while he campaigned for president. But perhaps most famous was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963. Shot by a sniper's bullet while riding through Dealey Plaza in Texas, JFK's death is shrouded in conspiracy with the official story placing the gun in the hands of former Marine Lee Harvey Oswald. But since Oswald was shot just days later by Jack Ruby while in police custody, we may mm. never know the truth for certain. There is Lee. So what's the conspiracy that like, you know, I, I wanna know, let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comments. 
been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. Number three, Abraham Lincoln. Oh. After guiding America through the most tumultuous time in its young history, Lincoln had locked in his legacy by 1865. But any other accomplishments he might have achieved were thwarted during a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. on April 14, 1865. With the Civil War drawing to a close, actor and Confederate John Wilkes Booth snuck into the president's box and shot him in the head. Booth then jumped to the stage with a knife and apparently uttered in Latin, thus always to tyrants, a phrase attributed to Brutus during Caesar's assassination. Lincoln died the next day. Number two, Julius Caesar. Julius Perhaps Caesar. Perhaps history's most- Wow, 100 BC, 1,000 years, 2,000 years ago. Famous assassination, thanks to its retelling by Shakespeare. The death of Julius Caesar is memorable as both drama and historical fact. It too brutally then fall Caesar. After Caesar was named dictator for life by the Senate, a plan to remove him was almost immediately devised by Senate members calling themselves liberators, who feared Caesar threatened their power. Together, this group of roughly 60 of some of Caesar's closest allies violently beat and stabbed him to death. But their later attempts mm. to install a tyrannical government were met with protests from lower-class Romans, and ultimately Caesar's heir Octavian gained power. Sometimes it's best to, to not wear the throne because no matter how well you govern, there are going to be a section of the populace who hate you, no matter what, no matter what. It's just impossible to please all of the people all of the time, you know, it's just because when you're at the top of the food chain, you've got such a big target on your head. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. came into the crowd, shot into the crowd, shot Sadat, who slumped to the floor of the reviewing stand. Stalin's trial against me is built upon false confessions, extorted by modern inquisitorial methods in the interest of the ruling clique. In fact, Christ talks about love. It's very interesting. They carry this Bible in one hand and hatred in the other hand and said it's sinful Christ himself said nothing about it. Once again, our top story this evening, the assassination today of Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, gunned down at a pro-government rally tonight in Tel Aviv. Number one, Mahatma Gandhi. Mm. He spent his life as a symbol of peace, but died a victim of violence. In life, Mahatma Gandhi led India to independence from Great Britain using non-violent tactics rather than revolution. Didn't he go on a hunger strike, I think, for like a really long time? Despite his success, some objected to his peaceful approach, including Nathuram Godse. The Hindu nationalist disagreed with Gandhi's support of Pakistan and perceived preference towards Pakistani Muslims over Indian Hindus. This caused Godse to fire three fatal shots at Gandhi while he was in New Delhi on January 30, 1948. Millions subsequently honored the fallen leader, and his policies of compassion are still praised today. Do you agree wow. with our picks? Check out these. Really sobering video, honestly. Like all of, a lot of like really iconic, you know, figures in human history just, uh, just gunned down, you know, in cold blood. Really, really scary stuff. Just makes you wonder like, you know, no matter how good a person you try to be, there's people out there who, who just are gonna hate you and stuff. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.